He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the room. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Starts to feel his bruises, though. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. It's a wonder the old saloon's still standing. Used to have the nicest view. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Ronnie always wanted his ashes scattered here. Special delivery. Gas, fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. Start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow. 
and it ain't broke. Kid Spy is a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. He's a mighty fast learner. Find the distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Bad time to run out of black tonic. Ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now.
think it takes a chunk of alloy. The smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. The kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Rob's a scumbag of his last meal. Kid puts him out of his misery. Finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. See that core Kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. Salt like crazy. At last, the skyway is in sight. Whisks him where it needs to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still, his mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again, growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Cinder brick style sure goes down smooth then stays in your gut like a rock. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands.
Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. He's got a bag and digest just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tamed. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful at a pinch. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Inside the forge, Key can fine-tune those instruments of his. Kid's lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. Core ain't here neither, so he's got to guess again. Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Never much cared for that big wide grin of his. Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live, tending to his flock. No white gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. Blustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. There's a new marshal in town.
He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. He heads for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag out. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershaw. Calamity ain't done much for Gershel's sunny disposition. Kid cuts up Gershel like a fine apple. Old scumbag didn't feel a thing. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. The windbags used to be all right. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. The little Zolwood oil and that blade shines like a light. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. Plans to survive the calamity. It had to be stag weeds. Plastic things hurt like a broken heart. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. He cuts down every stab weed like there's gonna be a prize for it. Core stuck inside one of those fancy cages. No break in a cage like that, but the kid tries anyway. Gotta find a way to spring it over. He throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? 
quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All Kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Not every score's born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Scumbags don't take kindly to interlopers. Even some gas fellas take his corner. Dirty pop that mean old foreman. At this rate, maybe five more minutes, maybe thirty, I can tell. Squirts get real territorial around the core. Then a ship and a free sample shows up. It ain't all bad, as the kid finds some spices from the motherland. Tax free. One thing's for sure, that cage is awful heavy. I still remember the look on his face after that one. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. A bow and a machete, every bit as effective as the fancier stuff. Turns out those old bones still have some spark in them.
folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't nothing more healthful. Still others use the place to test their finest blades. soon enough.
squirts tried to flee on instinct. Place gets awful slick sometimes. Kid comes back from Windbag Ranch, smelling good and ripe. 